I hunt a pretty big stretch of public land here in South Central Pennsylvania. Last year, I think I counted 11 bucks, and I can't tell you how many doe I saw. I can't remember the count, it was too many. I could go anywhere on this public land, almost guaranteed to see a doe on all the different spots that I hunt in this public land. But up until this year, I never bought a doe tag. I was always hunting for bucks. And I thought, well, this year I'm gonna get a doe tag. I could use the meat. Shouldn't be that big an issue. Huh. Right up there's a freaking deer crossing the road. There's a couple deer crossing the road. All right, guys, I gotta get down here in the bush. They're crossing the road here. My intentions were to go down here. They're gonna come down and come across here. See you guys in a minute. I've never been to this spot before. I was just coming in to check it out. I can't tell if they bedded over there or if they just walked the edge of that tree. It's in my favor, so let's take a slow walk over. Those deer down there milling around where they're bedding. Right over there. I was sitting in the car and I watched them cross the road and come down over the bank. I'm not so sure they'd be too willing to cross that creek being so high. I mean, they could if they really want to get across there, but we just had four inches of rain last night. Eight inches of snow this past Saturday. And it's going to get up to 50 degrees today. So with that snow melting, we're looking at having flash floods. As soon as I get over there, if I jump them, they're going to be gone. the time I saw those doe cross the road and come down over this bank it's been about an hour 
and I thought for sure they were going to come over towards me once they reached the creek because the creek's so deep and it's running super fast. I didn't give up yet. Seen a lot of good sign in here though. I think this is one of those spots that people just drive by and it's unnoticed. Pretty sure I see a really good buck bed right now. My way in here I saw some really fresh buck rubs. And right there's a buck bed. Right here's where he's coming in and out. That's a pretty recent bed too. do is back out of here. I should walk over and see the, find the trail that they came down across the road on. Yeah, I don't have any of my gear. When I saw those deer come down across the road and down the bottom, I grabbed my bow and come down in here real quick. It's uh, about 9 a.m. right now. So I'm going to head back to the truck, get myself a little more prepared back in here and hunt it right. So I ended up trying to follow those deer in when they came across the road this morning. I'm back out this afternoon. Before those deer crossed the road and interrupted what I was trying to get at is last year I can't even count how many doe I saw. I think I saw 11 bucks last year total and a ton of doe. Of course there were acorns everywhere they were dropping like rain last year in all the areas where i was hunting this year acorns are pretty scarce in the spots that i was hunting but i saw more buck this year than i saw doe until today i think i saw like five doe and then this morning i saw three cross the road you can definitely tell the difference you know how the food sources change and everything so I'm going to go up where those deer crossed the road this morning. See if I can follow those tracks down in. Because where they went down in, the creek is running way too fast for them to cross. What I think they're doing is going down to the creek, following the creek out. There's a dam behind me, which belongs to City Water Company. And uh, I think the deer feel pretty safe back on that property. So I'm gonna work my way up there and see if those deer backtrack, come back out through this way. Let's get in there and see. I'm just gonna walk up there and see where they cross and see where their tracks are going. That's a heavy trail down there. There's a scrape down there too. And right down there's another one at the bottom of this bank. The State Game Commission has that all posted for about three or four miles on that side of the road. where these deer just crossed a little bit ago. Some pretty good tracks. I know for sure there were two deer. There might have been three. The first one was pretty big. I didn't see antlers. 
and I don't know if I'll be able to zoom up enough on the footage. So I was sitting back there in the car. 150 yards maybe. I saw them come across the road. So I'm gonna follow these tracks in. I'm pretty sure their plans were to come down here and cross the creek. There's a clear cut across the creek. But like I said, we had a ton of rain, flash flood warnings, and that creek's running too fast for them to get across. I mean, they can cross if they want to, but they're going to get swept downstream a little bit. So, I think they're going to go down to the creek and work their way out to that private property where the dam is. And maybe this evening they'll work their way back and backtrack up through here. I'm crossing right here pretty heavily. And it's all posted over there. State Game Commission has it posted. So... I'm not gonna walk that path though. Anyway, right there's a super heavy trail where they're crossing the road. Right there's some fresh kick leaves, fresh trail. So they're coming up over here quite a bit. So I'm gonna go up over here. It's supposed to get super windy this afternoon. See if I can get on these tracks. So I tracked some good sign in here this afternoon. Saw some fresh rubs behind me down along the creek. I came back over the top. Check this out. I thought the last freaking rub was bigger. Look at this. Looks like the center right there. I got bean marks coming all the way up to here. That's just insane. That's a big mature buck rubbing that. I mean, this thing's being rubbed on both sides too. I'm gonna get situated and see if something comes through. So I'm finding good sign in here. <clears throat> but I'm having a hard time figuring out a good spot to duck in. Check this out. I got that freaking branch broken too. saw those does earlier which is what I'm looking for and I just keep finding buck sign everywhere so I come in through here and got alongside of some of these trails trying to figure out which way they're going and now I just gotta get myself on the right wind side of things. Seems like I'm getting a, like a northwest wind. 
which kind of blows. I was hoping to have like a, a southwest wind. But I'm going to make do. See what happens. There we got some fresh scrapes. Most definitely late last night or early this morning because the rain melted all the snow. Because I try to find a good spot for the wind. I move 40 yards and the wind's blowing a different direction. Let's just hit. It's just a crappy win for this setup. I gotta get on the right side of it. There's a bench right there across the road. It knuckles down and flattens out and they come across. Same as the other side. It knuckles down, flattens out. And they come across onto this bench. Let's see, it's a little windy out. Good lord. I'm literally sitting right along the road, about 25 yards. Those deer are coming across the road. They're following, they're following this bench out to some private property, about a half a mile up that direction. And I'm pretty sure they're going up there to bed. They just recently started moving again. They were hunkered down because we got eight inches of snow on Saturday, this past Saturday which was January 6th. January 8th, we still had snow on the ground. And it's now January 10th. It's hammered here with trails. And over here to my right, it goes into a little pinch point and the creek gets closer to the road. So they're most likely gonna funnel in here and go back across the road and up the mountain. I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen here. Either way, we're gonna sit here and find out. Saw some good sign, fresh sign. Hopefully a doe comes through. We'll see. I thought for sure I'd have some deer come through that spot I was just sitting in. Wind was blowing pretty good, so maybe they're still hunkered down. Got pretty cold here towards the evening. But, uh, not sure when I'm gonna get out the next time. And I'm really hoping to get it done though. See if I'm working tomorrow. If not, I'll be at it again.